few minutes to go. This is the perfect way to start the new year. Yeah, much better than celebrating at midnight. Celebrating the first sunrise of the new year. Great idea, Mr. Tanaka. Thank you. Get ready, guys. As soon as the sun comes up, we use our noisemakers. Huh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> gonna get scared away, Cream. Don't you worry one bit, dear. The sun will be happy to get such a nice welcome. Okay, then. I'll take one. <laughs> Sonic needs one, too. Uh -huh. Try that way. <laughs> Race of the new year, Rouge. Yuck. When I go on vacation, I'll pick someplace nice, like a dark cave. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. I'm a bat. For me, a cave's the perfect place to hang out and chill. Well, hanging out in a hole is just plain depressing. Now I see why your social life's so dull. Hmm. Okay, let's get ready. We will pull the strings all together. I will give you a signal as soon as the sun comes over the horizon. A few seconds more. The sky is getting lighter, lighter. <laughs> it's almost here. Get ready, go! like a solar eclipse! Oh. Something's wrong. There isn't supposed to be an eclipse. That's the egg moon, sir. Contact the president immediately! Right! It's the egg moon? Yes, sir. Dr. Eggman changed its orbit. He's created an artificial eclipse. I want to speak to that lunatic immediately! Huh? Have no fear, Eggman's here! How did you pass security? I pretended I was a bar of soap and gave them all the slip. This is a code red alert. Three. Now hold on! I came here peacefully. Wait, men. Let's hear what he has to say. <gasps> Mr. President, please believe me. I didn't move the egg moon on purpose. You mean you moved it accidentally. A solar storm affected the egg moon's control system. The Egg Moon went into a new orbit by mistake! I give you my solemn word that this eclipse wasn't caused by me! I don't believe you. Please, sir, I beg you to believe me! For I have a plan to make the sunshine return! Well, we do need light desperately. And I'm the man to deliver it, sir! If I don't, lock me away! What should we do, sir? <laughs> All right, I'll give you one chance. 
<laughs> you won't regret this, Mr. President. My sunshine plan will leave you beaming. My vacation's been totally ruined now. It's a good thing you're a hothead. You don't need the sun to keep you warm. Hmm. What could be better for a bat than a planet that's dark every day? This'll do wonders for my nightlife. Girlfriend, I'm flying high. I told you we should make all that noise. The sun did get scared and now it's hiding. Please don't cry, cream dear. We'll come back soon. This eclipse surely won't last for long. We want some answers. How long will it take you to correct the Egg Moon's orbit and end the eclipse? I have bad news for you. The damage to the Egg Moon will be difficult to repair. For the moment, it will be impossible to move the Egg Moon. Are you telling us this eclipse will continue indefinitely? I'm sure I'll come up with a solution eventually, but I'm afraid it's going to take time. I'll have to write new software and run tests. Were I to act in haste, the consequences could be catastrophic. But without sunshine, the planet will freeze. I won't let it freeze. I can provide you with plenty of heat and light because I've invented an artificial form of sunshine. Artificial sunshine? Just you wait and see. This is my brightest idea ever. <laughs> All systems are go. Roger. We're all set for launch. Prepare for countdown. Hold it! You can't start yet! This better be important, Bokoon. I've got a message for you. Dr. Eggman has something personal to say. I have faith in you two. Thank you. Why would he have faith in you two? You mess up every time. But mess up this time, and I'll dismantle both of you with my bare hands and sell you piece by piece on the internet. He certainly has a unique management style. Yes, if his workers fail, he destroys them. Do you really think he'd get rid of us? Only if he felt like it. We will not fail. Is that actually a possibility? Attention, launch crew. Proceed with countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! storage is now at 10% of full capacity and rising steadily. For several days now, the endless eclipse has blocked all sunlight from reaching our planet. But thanks to the work of Dr. Eggman, our world will soon be bathed in a new form of light. And now, a brief message from our sponsor. Are you feeling sad because it's always night? Eggman TV shopping helps you see the light. Living in the dark is not only depressing and a public safety hazard, but it's bad for your lawn, too. The solution? It's the sunshine ball. Thanks to my new invention, even the dingiest darkness can now be filled with luscious luminosity. Huh. 
If you call within the next 20 minutes, you can take advantage of our special offer. New customers are eligible for free delivery, and installation is half price. I wish I could offer installation for free also, but the robot union won't let me. Sorry about that. Hey, we robots have to pay for oil, you know. Call to order your sunshine ball today. Our operators are standing by. <laughs> Better call soon. The Sunshine Ball is selling out. What do we do? Well, I miss the sun. I hung out the laundry days ago and it still isn't dry. A Sunshine Ball would sure be handy. I agree. We should call for one right away. Hmm. Hey, Sonic. Sonic isn't sure this is a good idea. I don't think he trusts Dr. Eggman very much. If we don't trust Eggman, we may have to live in the dark forever. Maybe so. But how do we know Eggman's telling us the truth? He sounds like he's sincere to me. Why else would he make sunshine balls? I guess you're right. Hello, thank you for calling Eggman TV Shopping. A sunshine ball, did you say? Yes, ma'am, we can send the installation to you right over. Yes, sir, your sunshine ball will be delivered to you right away. Tired of the dark? Then let the sunshine ball light up your day! Steady now! It is wobbly! We have to attach it to the base! Roger! Turn it clockwise! Keep going! A few more turns and we will be done. This certainly is hard work. We should ask for a raise. Your sunshine ball is all set. We are ready to test it out now. Ah. It feels so warm. And best of all, the light is almost as bright as real sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like Eggman is trying to help everybody, but can he really be trusted? I guess we don't have a choice. Everybody should have a sunshine ball. Thank you. Sounds like another glowing recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it feels wonderful to help others. My circuits are flowing with positively charged energy. We should do this all the time. I represent people on the west side of the city. Why don't we have sunshine balls yet? It'll take time to light the whole city. You expect us to live in the dark forever? We demand our sunshine balls now! Yeah, he's ready for Let's discuss this calmly. If we don't get sunshine balls in the next 24 hours, we'll march to the east side and take them! It's a world to act now! Hey, Mr. Oh, Speaker, my constituents demand their sunshine balls immediately! Now hold on. The big cities have to be taken care of before any rural area. Quiet, please. Order, everybody. Hello? Please hold! Yes? One moment! We're a little backed up right now! We'll get there as soon as we can! Thanks for calling! Hey! Dr. Eggman! Consumer demand is greater than I expected. We'll need another mirror tower to produce more artificial sunshine. Maybe the president can help us out! <sighs> yes? This is the president speaking. It's Dr. Eggman calling, Mr. President. Can the government give me some free land to build another mirror tower? With all the demand for sunshine balls, our business is blazing. Of course, Doctor. Whatever you need. All I can say is hail to the chief. We don't have to live in the dark anymore. It's not as bright as real sunlight. But it sure beats not being able to see when you go outside. You don't say! A major crisis has been averted thanks to you, Doctor. You're truly a hero. A hero? You mean just like Sonic? That's right. Oh? 
I've never been a hero before. Having a squeaky clean image could really help me get a lot of dirty work done. You may have everybody else fooled, Eggman, but not me. You say you built these towers to make sunshine, but you're keeping everybody in the dark about your real plan. But I know what you're up to. Don't forget to water the melon. Uh, oh. huh? oh. Our sunshine ball went out. What do we do now? What's wrong? <sighs> Without those sunshine balls, we'd all washed up. I'm coming to you live from Eggman's emergency press conference. The doctor has prepared a statement on the blackout. Today a mirror tower collapsed which overloaded the power grid and caused the system to shut down. We are doing everything we can to repair the damage quickly and we hope to turn the lights back on in a few more hours. Do you know why the mirror tower collapsed? We're investigating now. Sonic... What did you say? Oh, it was nothing. Nothing much. He'd never do something like that. Would he? I don't believe it. Are you sure this isn't a mistake? We're positive, sir. I'll zoom in for a close-up. It is Sonic. How could he? Sonic can be wild sometimes, but committing sabotage isn't in his character. But Sonic can't stand Dr. Eggman. I'd bet my wings that he knocked down that mirror tower out of jealousy. What are you talking about? We have all the proof that we need right on that video. Eggman is trying to help us, but Sonic still thinks of him as the enemy. He resents that we're working with Eggman. That's ridiculous! You're suggesting Sonic caused a worldwide blackout because Eggman's on our side now? Who knows? We should release the tape now, sir. The public must be informed that Sonic is a danger. <sighs> Hello? This is the President's office. Oh! Sir, we have an emergency! We just lost another mirror tower! We have to do something! Do you want me to inform the media, sir? Yes. Give them the tape. There's been a late-breaking development in the Mirror Tower case. A videotape just released by the government shows the towers being destroyed by Sonic the Hedgehog! What? No way! Sonic doesn't do things like that! It has to be a mistake! Yeah, I bet you that video's a fake! An unruly mob is gathering outside the mansion! Wonderful! We want Sonic! 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 What'll we do? It sounds like they're really angry with Sonic! What made Sonic do something so crazy? Sonic got pretty upset when he saw Eggman on TV. So you think he did it just because he didn't want Dr. Eggman to be a hero? Huh? That's an awful thing to say! But what other explanation could there be? I'm sure he had a good reason. Then why didn't he tell anybody? They're breaking through! Let's get down! Don't worry! Nobody's gonna get past me! Come back! You're only going to make the situation worse if they see you're attacking! What else can we do? Let me try to resolve this peacefully! Grandpa! Charging the tower! What are we supposed to do? Pull him over for speeding? Do whatever it takes to stop him. But how? Sonic is too fast for us! 
My kids all look up to Sonic. How in the world am I going to explain to them that he's become a bad guy now? Sonic's finally showing his true colors. Doctor, now that you're the hero, it's time to make a change. <laughs> Join us next time on Eggman X when the universe's greatest super genius finally puts the brakes on that spineless speedster Sonic the Scuzzbag. <laughs>